and welcome to NSO at Home Live, a concert series created by the musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra. My name is Marissa Regney. I'm the principal second violin of the National Symphony. I'll be your host tonight and every Sunday night as we bring live music into your homes and hopefully into your hearts. Happy 4th of July weekend to all of you. I hope you had a festive July 4th and were able to see some fireworks somewhere in your neighborhood. But if not, we have plenty of fireworks tonight because we have some great, great music planned and some wonderful musicians joining us. Tonight, we're gonna to be joined by NSO Assistant Principal Trombonist, Kevin Carlson, NSO Second Hornist, uh, Marcus Osterland. As always, we will be featuring one of our fantastic youth fellowship students. Tonight, we have Asher Horston joining us on the viola. And at the end of the evening, I'll be playing a little patriotic ditty to sort of end this uh, festive weekend. So we're very excited to be here and let's rush right over first to Kevin. Now, Kevin is one of our newest members of the orchestra. He just joined in September. He's also our youngest member of the orchestra. Kevin won the job with the National Symphony Orchestra when he was just 22 years old. He was still a student at the Juilliard School of Music. And that's just a, an amazing accomplishment, but he's an amazing player. And so we've so enjoyed getting to know him and getting to hear his wonderful sound within the orchestra. Cannot wait to, to rush over to Kevin now, talk to him and hear him play some beautiful Schumann. So let's head over to Kevin. Hi, Marissa. Hey, Kevin, how are you? I'm doing, I'm doing good. Good, it's really good to see you. Thanks for being on. Yeah. Um, now, I always like to ask people how or why they chose their instrument and I know for you, it's different because your instrument was chosen for you by somebody else. So can you tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, so I played a baritone in uh, uh, elementary school and junior, and junior high. And then when I got to high school, I guess my uh, uh, high school teacher saw potential in me. So he immediately switched me to trombone. You know, it's not a, not a ton of... Uh, opportunity for baritone, and I think he wanted to, to open up the music world opportunity. Well, we thank him for, for making you switch. <laughs> Worked out nicely for us, so bravo to him, bravo to you. So I know you're going to play this piece by Robert Schumann. It's in three movements, these romances that were originally written for oboe and piano, and they're played a lot on the violin. I actually, the second movement is one of my favorites. I uh, play it quite frequently. And sometimes you hear it on the clarinet every now and again, but I don't think I've ever heard it on the trombone. So is this something that you guys often take um, music for, I don't know, the oboe? <laughs> well, uh, we have to steal a lot of music because, you know, yeah. not a lot of people wrote for us uh, and not a lot of good people. Um, and so, you know, so we steal from the best, and, uh, you know, uh, I think play it the best too. Yeah, it is such a beautiful piece. Cannot wait to hear you play it. And so, yeah. and you're in such a beautiful space too, I have to say, it's so gorgeous, the, the background, so lovely. So please enrich us with some Schumann, take it away. All right, thank you. Thank you. 
Bravo, Kevin. Thank you so much. That was so lovely. And I just loved hearing that piece of music played on an unexpected instrument. So thank you so much for that. So if you're a brass lover, you're going to be very happy today because we're moving on to another brass instrument. We have NSO second horn player Marcus Osterlin joining us this evening. Marcus is going to be also borrowing some music. So we just heard Kevin borrowing from a piece written for oboe. Marcus tonight is going to be borrowing a bit of Bach from the cellos. So Bach wrote six solo cello suites, and often you hear them on the cello or the viola or the bass. I don't think I've ever heard them on the horn, so this is also new to me. I'm very excited. So we're going to head over to Marcus right now and talk to him a little bit. Hey, Marissa. Hey, Marcus. How's it going? Good. Good. How are you? Good. So just so everybody knows, Marcus, you were born and raised in one of my favorite places on the whole planet, Hawaii. That's right. Yeah, in Honolulu. Yeah. So it must be very different over here on the East Coast. Oh, my goodness. The weather is, it took a while for me to get used to it. Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> but I think people can uh, probably guess from your last name that you do not have a Hawaiian last name. You have a Swedish last name, and I know you speak fluent Swedish. So can you say something for us? Because I love that language. It's so fantastic. Sure. Actually, uh, my middle names are Hawaiian, um, and I won't share them on the stream, but uh, there, there is some Hawaiian in my name. Um, oh! Cool. Yeah. Well, as far as Swedish goes, um, I could say... Okay, and what did that mean? <laughs> yes, so that means uh, today I'm going to play some Bach for you guys. Ah, fantastic. So as I was just saying, I don't think I've ever heard Bach played on the horn. Do you horn players play from all six of the cello suites, or are there ones that you pick and choose from? All six of the cello suites are fair game. There are definitely some that are more popular than others. Mm -hmm. um, they're actually used in audition um, repertoire and audition lists, and people play them on recitals. Um, but the one that I'm going to be playing for you today is probably the most, uh, if not tied for the most popular. Yeah, it's from the uh, G major suite. Yeah? Yeah. So very excited to hear it. I mean, I know it's the same range, the same sort of general range as the cello on the horn. So I'm excited to hear this. So the stage is yours. Take it away. Awesome. Let me get situated. Thank you. 
Bravo. I wish I knew how to say Bravo in Swedish, but <laughs> there were a lot of Swedish comments coming up during that, which I enjoyed reading. So thank you, Marcus. That was so beautiful. Always great to hear Bach, of course. And we're going to head back to Marcus a little bit later for some more music. But right now, we're going to go on to our Youth Fellowship student. So if you've been watching us lately, you know that we are featuring each week a student from our Youth Fellowship program. So the National Symphony has a program for our high school students. They study with members of the symphony. They come and witness and, and sort of watch orchestra rehearsals. They do sometimes side by sides with us where they sit with us in the orchestra during rehearsals. They also study chamber music. And it's just great to be able to watch these young students and to hear them and to just see their enthusiasm. It's always inspiring for all of us. So this week we are going to feature uh, someone from the viola section. This, his name is Asher Borston, and he has been studying with NSO violist Jenny Mondi for the past four years. Uh, Jenny cannot be here tonight. Usually we like to have the teacher come and introduce their students, but she's out of town. So um, I reached out to Jenny though, and Jenny has been teaching the Youth Fellowship Program for six years. Jenny's been a member of the orchestra for 25 years. Um, and she also does a great amount of work for the Musicians Committee, which we're always very grateful for. Um, but she's been teaching in the Youth Fellowship Program and she has loved working with Asher. When I asked her about working with Asher, she said that he is so thoughtful. He's always really thinking about not just the music, but also the technique and the artistry behind it. He always has great questions and he always sets really big goals for himself and he always achieves them with such excellence. And Jenny did say she's really, really going to miss working with him next year, but she is so excited to see how he's going to grow in his next adventures as he goes off to college because Asher just graduated. So let's head over to Asher's house right now and meet our fabulous Youth Fellowship students. Hi. Hey, Asher. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. So first of all, congratulations. You survived high school. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sorry you didn't get to really have a real graduation, but yeah, in impressive. And you went to a really great school. Tell everyone where you just graduated from. Uh, I just graduated from Georgetown Day School. In Georgetown Day School. Day school. It's a great place. And mm -hmm. you are headed off to another great school. I know you're going to study music. So where are you going? Yeah, I'm going to New England Conservatory in Boston to study with my Motobuchi. Fantastic. I knew you're going to do great. Now you have done some amazing things musically. I know you studied at Aspen and you studied at the Tanglewood Institute. These are all really prestigious uh, music institutes for students in the summertime. Um, and this summer you are enrolled in the Hypus Institute. And can mm -hmm. you tell anybody, everybody a little bit about what that institute is? Uh, yeah, it's a, a six-week program normally held in Virginia in person, except for this year when it's online. Uh, it's a lot of chamber music and uh, a lot of lessons with many great faculty who come through there. Yeah, and I think you, you mentioned that you obviously you can't do chamber music uh, you know, live since everything's virtual this summer. So are you guys each recording your parts and learning how to put everything together that way? Yes, we are all doing that. It's and we're all kind of learning how to do it together. We all are all learning <laughs> the new normal, but it's probably a really good thing to learn how to do at this point. So yeah, um, it's amazing. And I read up a little bit about the institute. And um, are they doing? I know they do sort of uh, multifaceted performance, like teaching you how to speak in public and being doing yoga and sort of having mindfulness about your body. And you know, are they doing all of that with you virtually as well? Yeah, there's a lot of that. They sort of group it all into something they call communications, which, like you said, has a lot of different uh, classes where you learn to just use your body in more effective ways and public speaking and drama and all these sort of different things that come together to make you a better musician and performer in general. That's fantastic. I think that's just an amazing thing. Well, we wish you, of course, all the luck in the world. Know you're going to do so great in, at NEC. Thank and you. So we're excited to hear some more Bach. Of course, we just heard Marcus play. He uh, took from the G major suite and you're playing from a different suite. Um, so you're playing from the D major suite, yeah? 
Yes, although many violists play it in G major because of uh, the limitations of our instrument in terms of how high we can go. Right, right. Well, we're excited to hear you play. Thank you again for being with us and all the best to you. Wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you so much.
Bravo, Asher. Thank you so much for that. It was so lovely. And I know you're going to hear great things from him down the road. <laughs> so I want to remind everybody you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. On Facebook and YouTube, we are NSO Musicians. On Instagram, we are NSO underscore musicians. Please check us out. We're always posting new content and you can subscribe to all of our different channels and platforms um, and see what we're up to while we've been not allowed to go to work at the Kennedy Center. And we do very much miss that, but we're glad we can reach people in this way. And um, we've come up with some creative ways to reach out to everybody. So check us out on those. And there, there was a lot of great uh, patriotic content posted over the weekend by several of my colleagues. So I urge you to go to um, YouTube and see some fantastic videos. There's one by principal trumpet player Billy Gerlach. We have uh, NSO violinist Ben Scott and his wife Lauren. It's a terrific duet. And also on YouTube, Pavel Pekarsky, violinist from the National Symphony, and his son George, who is also just graduated from high school and was a member of the NSO Youth Fellowship Program. You may remember the Pekarskis were our second family to ever perform on this show. They did week two of NSO at Home Live, and they are both fantastic violinists, and they did this amazing uh, duet of the Stars and Stripes Forever. So please go check out Billy, Ben, Lauren, Pavel, and George on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, see what they put up there for the holiday weekend. And we thank you all for following us and uh, liking what we do. So we're gonna head back to Marcus now. Marcus is gonna be playing a piece by the Russian composer Vitaly Buyanovsky. And this is a piece of music, it was originally in four movements um, and it was about his impressions traveling. So each movement is about a different country. And one movement is about Scandinavia, one movement is about Italy, one movement is about Japan, and there is another movement about Spain. Marcus told me that the movement he's playing, España, was chosen really because it is the most popular. He said the other three movements, sadly, are not played that often. <laughs> so we're gonna have a little Spanish flavor, and we're gonna head back to Marcus now for España.
bravissimo. That was fantastic. And I always love how the horn could do so many different effects. It could sound so far away and then immediately so up close. It was amazing. So thank you, Marcus, for your beautiful Bach and for that amazing Espana. Uh, next week, we will be back, 7 o'clock, Sunday. And we will be featuring violinist Angie Cho. She is a, one of our newest violinists in the section. And her husband, Andrew Eng, will be, will be joining us as well. He plays the viola. And we will be joined by another fantastic Youth Fellowship Program student, uh, Piper Sook, will be joining us on the cello. So please join us next Sunday at 7 p.m. for another installment, brand new installment of NSO at Home Live. So I am going to cap the evening off. Um, I'm going to play a piece now by the Belgian violinist Henri Vieton. He was an incredible virtuoso and he wrote a, quite a bit of music for the violin, which kind of throws everything but the kitchen sink in. It's a very flashy and, and dashy. And I thought in honor of the July 4th weekend, I would play his variations on a very Americana piece of music. Yankee Doodle. So hope you enjoy.
Thank you so much for joining us again tonight. Hope to see you again next Sunday night at 7 for violinist Angie Cho, violist Andrew Eng, and our youth fellowship student Piper Sook on the cello. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks again for joining us and for following us on all of our different platforms. We wish you all the best and we'll see you next week. Thank you.